Hey, we are here to share what we have learned with BS Skinner's study of Responded Behavior. Strengthen with reinforcer and diminished by a punisher. We hope you enjoy this treat as we teach you about operate conditioning. Now, what did you learn today, Pat and Mitch? Well, we learned about the different types of associative learning. Say, Mitch, which was your favorite? Um, I like fifth period psychology. Okay. I like them all. But the one I can't understand is this opera conditioning thing. Say, Ollie, what is opera conditioning? Well, opera conditioning is a type of learning in which behavior is strengthened if followed by a reinforcer, or, on other hands, diminished if followed by a punisher. Isabel, sit. Sit. Isabel. Isabel, sit. Sit. Isabel. Sit. Isabel. Sit. Looks like you're having some trouble. Sit. But yeah, Skinner, I thought you died in 1990. Well, that's simply just not true in any way, shape, or form. But this right here is a classic case of disobedience. Try rewarding her to see if you can positively reinforce what you would like her to do. Well, okay, uh, Isabel, look. Sit. Isabel, sit. There you go. Good girl! Okay. Now give her the treat. There you go. Now that's what I call some positive reinforcement. It's just some volunteer work I do through the week. Really kills me for these juvenile delinquents just to be able to get away with anything they want with no really negative enforcement about what you're supposed to do. Oh, I, I, just, I just can't wait to get the next one. Speeding through child-friendly school zones. No regard. Makes me sick. Pretty quiet tonight. Oh, oh, this this one looks promising. I I do believe he's over. Oh, please come this way. Oh, make my day. Make my day. Oh, oh, he is. Whoa! We got a live one. Sometimes positive reinforcement doesn't work. And in those situations, it's time to become Sergeant Skinner. Please. It seems to be the problem, officer. So you know how fast you're going? No. Think about 25. 65. No. Try 65. Hot diddly. 40 over. I'll see that, please. God. Well, there's my wallet. Huh? Let me get my license and registra my registration. Here we go. Seems to check out, officer. Son, you know this is a school zone? I did not, sir. You're flying through school. What if, what if you hit a child? This is, this is so much children out here. I feel like that's another topic to discuss on another day. Oh, no. That's not hypothetical. This is my city. You're on, you're on my city. Who seems to be running for office next week? Uh, I think it's uh, Deputy Bauer. Well, no, that's, that's not true. Now, I'm going to let you go on a citation, issue a warrant, and if I see you again, you're mine. You get me? Yes, sir. All right, now get out of here.
Now this is a prime example of using punishment as reinforcement to get people to do what you'd like them to do. That's what the laws are for, it's what rules are set in place. It's why we follow them every day at school. Now, uh, Mitch and Pat, those were some uh, great life lessons, weren't they? Oh, I oh yeah. yeah. I concur with you. Yeah, definitely. Just like when the dog sat, we positively reinforced it with a treat. Right, right Pat? That's, that's right, Mitch. I couldn't have said it better myself. Or uh, how about uh, negatively reinforcing an action by punishing someone? Yeah. Like a officer giving a speeding ticket. <laughs> 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 Oh, that's, that's rich. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, awesome. that's, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. uh.